그런 생각으로 외면한 인간들이 지금 이 세상을 만든 거라고! The root of the zombie virus in Netflix is all of us are dead ties back to one source. What kickstarted the local high school in Hyacinth to become ground zero for the viral epidemic is because of science teacher Lee Byung Chan, Kim Byung Chol. But audiences may notice Byung Chan's storyline in All of Us Are Dead comes to an unanswered end in episode 4. Who is Lee Byung Chan in All of Us Are Dead? Mm. Mm. The Netflix K drama kicks off its storyline with a grand reveal. Byung Chan's son falls off a roof after a group of bullies physically harass him. Instead of clamoring to the air, Byung Chan sneaks in to see his son. He looks at his son knowingly and promises to make things better, and his son convulses and changes into a zombie. This is the audience's first clue that Byung Chan knows something when he kills his son. He then uses a suitcase to sneak him out. Later in All of Us Are Dead, a female student is bitten by a lab mouse in Byung Chan's science room at Hyacin High School. Realizing what will happen, he kidnaps her. In the following episodes, she breaks free and reports it to the nurse. She succumbs to the virus and turns into a zombie. Meanwhile, Byung Chan is arrested. In an interrogation with Detective Song J. Il, Lee Kai Yu Haing, Byung Chan's backstory is revealed. He has a PhD in cellular biology and worked as a researcher for a pharmaceutical company in Korea. Byung Chan quiet and became a teacher. Byung Chan is bitten by zombies in All of Us Are Dead Episode 4. Detective J. Il questions Byung Chan further and learns he created the virus using a mutated hormone from mice. <laughs> The virus was created for his son to save him from death, to become a predator against his bullies. The objective? To turn fear into power. As the school and Hyacin become infected, zombies infiltrate the precinct. Byung Chan has conflicting emotions over what he has done. But he chooses to save Jay Il and is bitten in the process. He then sacrifices himself and is attacked by multiple zombies. While audiences think it is the end for Byung Chan and all of us are dead, it is not. After Jay Il leaves the precinct and saves another officer, the scene cuts a hallway and Byung Chan cracks back to life. Unlike the other zombies who wander, Byung Chan has full consciousness and walks normally. But he does have bloodshot eyes, veiny features, and out of place bones. As Byung Chan walks toward the camera, it cuts to a video diary entry. He asks if people need to abandon their natural instincts to become human. The scene ends, and audiences never see Byung Chan again for the rest of All of Us Are Dead. Byung Chan could be a mutated zombie like Choi Nam Ra in the chaos of zombie infestation and teenagers trying to stay alive, Byung Chan's outcome could have gone unnoticed. But fans have no idea where he is after he supposedly leaves the precinct or after the All of Us Are Dead finale. There are speculations and theories. As the K-drama progressed, audiences learned the Jonas virus was mutating on its own to survive. The bully, Yoon Gwynam, Yoon Su, keeps his consciousness and normal human mobility after being bitten in episode 5. Choi Nam Ra, Cho Yi Hyun, was also bitten, but kept the virus's effects at bay. It could be that Byung Chan is also a mutated version of the virus. Fans are unsure if he experimented on himself. In the interrogation room, he had scratch marks on both wrists. After escaping with his zombie son in episode 1, he experimented with him. Byung Chan created the virus to turn fears into power. Could it play a role? Were all the mutated infected acting a certain way before being bitten? In the All of Us Are Dead finale, the main characters learn Nam Ra has been alive for months. She explains there are others like her. It could be that Byung Chan is among them and looking for a cure. 